I've been meaning to show this off in a separate video, and I haven't gotten to that yet, but I'm gonna have to show it in this video because some of my paints have some issues. So I have actually put tool across my cup. This is the same thing they make bridal veils out of. It's spelled T-U-L-L-E. It's a French word, so I'm probably not saying it the most beautifully French, but it is a little bit more correct to say tool than tuli. I've heard some people say tuli. It's not pronounced tuli, okay? It's more like tool, but I'm sure that if we were to ask our beautiful friend Menon Petit, how to pronounce this, she would probably sound much more beautiful pronouncing this. So if you do have chunks in your paint when you're mixing it, you can put tulle across the top. This is a finer weave than netting. Netting, the holes are going to be too big. But pantyhose is not going to work. If you have a thick consistency on your paint, but you have chunks in the paint, you cannot put pantyhose across that because the paint will just push against the pantyhose and make like a big balloon. It's going to make a mess. The reason I know this is because I tried it. Because where pantyhose does work is um, if you put pantyhose, oops, if you put pantyhose across the top of your flood flow trowel, for example, which I usually do, in this case, I also have a piece of tool across my, um, my flow trowel because I don't know where my pantyhose, I have a pantyhose that's specifically for my art <laughs> adventures um but i don't know where i put it so I, I use tool for that too and i also have been doing this with my artist loft flow acrylic now i don't know if the new soft body has the same issue but early in my fluid art experiences i i identified that this paint is always having tiny little lumps in it it took me a while to figure out where it was coming from because of course i would be using other colors too but once I identified that, I always put um, either pantyhose or tulle across my flow trowel and my flow acrylic, okay?